and welcome to Cracksoid. Today in this video, we are going to take a closer look at the latest official Arrow OS 13.1 which has come back after the long gap of 3 months. It is based on Android version 13 and it has Android security update of April 2023. Furthermore, Quicksilver kernel is used in this ROM. As some of you may know that I have already reviewed the unofficial build of this Arrow OS 13.1 but unfortunately it had one major issue. Let's see if it is fixed in this build or not. But that's not all. In addition to exploring the latest version of Arrow OS 13.1, we'll also be comparing it with the previous build to provide you with a comprehensive overview of the changes that had been made in this build. So without further ado, let's start the video. User experience. Let's kick off the things with user experience of this ROM. This ROM has a clean and easy to use interface that makes it a pleasure to navigate. The ROM runs smoothly without any lags or slowdowns, which enhances the overall user experience. One feature that stands out in this ROM is the improved quick setting panel. Unlike many other Android 13 custom ROMs, Arrow OS 13.1 has resolved the issue of lagging or stuttering in the quick setting panel. Overall, I am impressed by the user experience of this room. It's easy to use, runs smoothly, and has a few notable improvements that set it apart from other custom rooms. Camera. Moving towards camera section, this room comes with only one camera, and that is none other than everyone's favorite MIY camera, which was also present in its previous build. This camera comes with 14 megapixel camera mode as well as portrait mode and everything inside this camera app is working flawlessly without any bugs or issues. Google Photo Stories So let's discuss the unlimited Google Photo Stories feature on Arrow OS 13.1. The ROM includes this feature and you will be happy to know that you can upload an unlimited number of photos and videos without worrying about storage limits. With unlimited storage, you can capture as many memories as you want without worrying about running out of space on Google Photos app. Wallpaper and Styles Let's talk about the changes in the wallpaper and style section of Arrow OS 13.1. There have been some notable changes compared to the previous build, which were also implemented in the unofficial version. One change is the removal of the custom themed icon option, which has been replaced with new options like icons, fonts and shapes. You can customize your device with up to 6 into 6 size grid from the app grid and choose between 5 different multicolor gradient options from the basic color option. These are new features that were not present in the previous build and can enhance your device appearance. However, there is one missing feature that's now commonly present in recent ROMs, shortcut quick action options for the lock screen mode. Although Arrow OS 13.1 does not include this feature, it still offers useful options to customize your device. Quick Settings Let's now take a look at the Quick Settings panel of Arrow OS 13.1. As mentioned before, the ROM offers a smooth and lag-free experience in this section. The tiles in the Quick Setting panel are minimalistic, but there are also some useful tiles for daily users, such as the QR code scanner, compass, calculator, and extra dim, among others. These styles can come in handy in your day-to-day -day use. Overall, the quick settings panel of Arrow OS 13.1 is simple yet functional, offering a smooth and lag-free experience. The tiles may be minimalistic, but they include some useful ones for daily use. Settings Now, let's dive into the settings section of Arrow OS 13.1 and explore the new customizations and features that have been integrated into it. Private DNS Moving towards private DNS feature, inside its network and internet setting, you will get private DNS and with this feature, you can set up a private DNS provider for your device, which adds an extra layer of security and privacy to your browsing experience. However, it does not offer custom DNS provider names, which means that you need to manually type in the DNS provider's IP address. Apps Let's dive into the app section of Arrow OS. One feature that caught my attention was the parallel space option, which allows you to create a clone of your existing app. This is useful if you need to use multiple accounts for an app without having to constantly log in and out. When it comes to the default launcher, Arrow OS uses its own Arrow launcher. Although it does not offer a lot of customization options on the home screen, it's incredibly smooth and stable. There are some useful features like double tap to sleep and already mentioned parallel space. 
While AROS focuses more on stability rather than extensive customizations, it would have been great if they included an option to hide and protect apps. However, I did find the app lock feature buried somewhere in the settings, which I'll show you how to access later in this video. Battery. Let's talk about battery settings and as you may know, I prefer battery percentage option to be included in battery settings rather than in other places as it's the most needed feature and searching just to enable battery percentage inside different settings can be a headache for most of the users. And this ROS has provided this battery percentage in its battery settings which I personally like a lot. And here you will get options like battery uses, battery saver, battery manager, battery percentage as I just explained and low battery light option which will blink LED light when battery is low on your device. And in its previous build there was battery icon style option for more customizations like battery style and more. But now they have removed that option. And there is one and most probably only thing that I'm disappointed with this ROS and that is extreme battery saver option is not available in its battery saver setting as it's very much useful feature when your device has low battery percentage. Other than this, I am fully satisfied with this ROM and talking about battery backup, you won't be disappointed by the battery backup of this ROM as it provides excellent battery backup for Redmi Note 8 device. Security. In its security setting, there is the feature that you were waiting for and that is app lock feature, which allows you to lock any app with a password, pin or pattern. This can come in handy if you want to prevent someone from accessing your personal or sensitive data. However, it's worth noting that there is no hide app feature in this room, which may disappoint some users who prefer to keep certain apps hidden. Unfortunately, the issue that I mentioned earlier in this video still persists. The face unlock option is not available on this version of ROS, which could be a significant drawback for many users. Additionally, the absence of a fingerprint sensor option is due to the fact that I have removed the sensor wire from my device. Overall, not having the face unlock feature could be a deal breaker for some users who prioritize this security measure. Xiaomi parts. In addition to the other features, it's worth noting that this ROM also comes with Xiaomi parts, which offers some important options to enhance the device experience. One of these options is the MI sound enhancer, which optimizes audio quality and provides enhanced audio output on headphones. Other features such as clear speaker and display color calibration are also available within Xiaomi parts. Gestures. One of the standout feature of ROS is its extensive gesture customization. Within the system setting, you can access the gesture sections to customize a range of actions. One useful feature is the press and hold power button option, where you can choose which action to perform when you press the power button, such as accessing the power menu or digital assistant. Additionally, you can enable the advanced restart option, which will show options for rebooting to recovery or bootloader mode. Another gesture customization that many users will appreciate is the ability to take screenshots with a simple swipe. You can take screenshot anywhere on the screen by swiping with three fingers and after taking the screenshot, you can edit, share or delete it. However, it would be more useful if there was an inclusion of the search lens option. Updater. In addition to the other settings, ArrowOS also includes an updater section in the system setting. This feature allows you to check for the latest updates of ROS, but you can't install the latest update directly from this section. However, you will receive a notification if a newer version is available, which is quite convenient. Antutu Benchmark Score Now let's wrap up this review by discussing the Antutu Benchmark Score of ROS. As you can see, the ROM scored an impressive 207429, which is a good score for this device. To put this score into perspective, let's compare it to other rooms. The unofficial build had a score of 207449, which is almost identical to ROS. In the latest Pixel Extended ROM with the April security patch, the score was only 199232, while in the latest Project Alexa 3.7 ROM, the Antutu score was 206168. When it comes to numbers, ROS has a slightly better score than the others which is impressive and demonstrates the room's performance optimization. Conclusion In conclusion, the latest official version 13.1 of ArrowOS continues to outperform many other custom rooms out there. This room delivers excellent stability, performance, smoothness, user experience and battery backup despite coming back from a long 3-month gap which is impressive. However, there are some downsides to this version. 
For example, it lacks options for hiding apps, face unlock and extreme battery saver, which may leave some users unsatisfied. Nonetheless, the ROM is well optimized and refined. With features like the availability of MIUI camera with working 48 megapixel camera and portrait mode, a lag free quick setting panel and more. Overall, if you are unsure whether to try this ROM or not, we suggest giving it a chance and forming your personal opinion on ROS. Thank you so much for watching this video and if you like this video then don't forget to hit the like button, comment down below, share this video and subscribe to Cracksuite. Also hit the notification bell. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.